So this is an artist's digital version of a bright comet coming into the inner solar system. Comets are a spectacular, dramatic, and sometimes scary, for those with uh, some superstitions about it, occurrence. So I wanted to say a little bit about what comets are, what how they're made up. This is Comet Hale-Bopp. It's kind of a quintessential, beautiful picture of a comet. And the basic components of a comet are the nucleus that is just a teeny tiny little thing right down in the core. And then around the uh, nucleus is the coma, which is outgassing and travels with the comet. And then trailing behind the comet, or sometimes in front of the comet, we'll come to that, is the tail. And very commonly, there are two tails. And you see these two tails beautifully displayed here. One, the bluer one, is a gas tail of ions, so electrically charged ionized gas, and it always points directly opposite the sun. That's because it's got an electric charge and it interacts with the um, solar wind coming off the sun, and it just streams straight back. Off comes the solar wind and it shoots past the comet and entrains the tail, the ion tail, and it's always pointed very directly in the opposite direction to the sun. Often there is a lot of structure in an ion tail just because you've got magnetic effects and, and you know ripples and kinks and all kinds of beautiful stuff. So you're more likely to see structure in the ion tail than you are in the dust tail. So the other tail is the dust tail. It's uh, primarily reflects a lot more of just the color of sunlight uh, because it's just dust that's reflecting sunlight. And once the dust is swept off the comet, it goes into orbit around the sun just like the comet does. So I'm sure you've seen diagrams that look like this where the comet as it swings around the sun always has the tail pointing away from the sun. And you can see the blue straight one, which is often much narrower, which is the ion tail. And then the whitish dust tail. And so again, think of the particles coming off the comet, and then they go around orbiting the sun, just like the comet does, but their orbits are a little further out. So they're a little bit slower than the actual comet. So the comet kind of races away from it. And that's why the dust tail appears bent in a lot of cases. So, and then of course it just dissipates and you aren't able to see it anymore, but you can always see that curvy tail and that would be the dust tail. They come from the Kuiper belt or the Oort cloud. Those are short period and long period comets respectively. Ultimately, short period comets come from the Kuiper belt, but many of them get captured into orbit with Jupiter, become Jupiter family comets. All of those that we see coming through the solar system ultimately had their origin back in the Kuiper belt. So this is the connection between our Kuiper belt studies and the fact that we have this bright comet coming in.